All right, we are doing a little bit of tacking here on Hipster. Hipster is just a nickname at the barn, so that does not have to be his name. It can be anything you want it to be. He's Sorrel with flax mane and tail. This is a Skywatch Colt. He is not super sweet yet. So he came broke and we gave him six months off to just chill and be a horse. Turned him out with some two-year-olds. And so um, he didn't get as much human touch for about six months. And so now he's just now coming around to petting and loving, but he's definitely going to be loving. He's just not today in your pocket. He's more business right at this moment. He's three going on four. He has amazing papers. This colt is smart as a whip. When I tell you we didn't ride him for six months, I mean it, and we'd hop back on him, and he rode like we'd been riding him every single day. If you like taking pictures of your horse, he models perfectly, I can tell you that much. He is 10 times more beautiful in the spring and summer when he sheds off, as you know, but we can't control when it's time for him to be ready to go. <coughs> That's a dog. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pause this until she finds the bit. All right, we're going to bridle him up. Apologize for that noise. They're moving big equipment out front. He lets you hear his distaste of the very, very loud high pitch noise as well. <laughs> it's funny, this guy's way more spooky on the ground than he will ever be when you get on him. I'm sorry, buddy. See, on the ground he looks a little, but when you're on him, he just... He might stop and take it in, breathe it in, look at it, but he's not going to do anything stupid. There's no overreaction in this colt. All right, we're going to take him out here and let you see her get on him from the mountain block. This is Hipster. He is a three going on four-year-old. He's Sorrel with flax mane and tail. His flax mane and tail definitely needs cleaning with some purple or blue shampoo. He's got just a couple of little snips there on his face. But other than that, he is a beautiful sorrel colt. He is three going on four, registered Tennessee Walker out of the Sky Watch. We're going to let Kristen step up on him. This guy is standing between 15 and 15 one right now. And we think he's pretty close to being done growing, but we won't guarantee he won't hit 15 two. She's going to walk him over here to uh, our new Spookville, new and improved, just for the moment until we can get it all put out on trails. But eventually, our um, obstacle course is going to be on the trails. The trails are going to be wider. And pretty much everything you see is either going to be done on a trail or it's going to be done in a field for a little bit more of a wide open shot. But we have arranged for all kinds of spooky stuff over here for them to go through as we're preparing to clean the trails and get all this put out. So we got the buckets. And we have got... The spreaders, the rakes, antique equipment, futon mattress frame, bush hog, a little bit of everything that he just went by. All right, so I'm going to get up in the center of the track as he's about to go by the blue barrel and the white target practice. And I'm going to get him gating on the way back. This is as quiet and good of a colt as you're probably ever going to find besides maybe Dixie. But Dixie's pretty lazy. If you remember my mom's horse, Country Sky, these guys have a lot of the same papers and he has the same gait. He wants to overstride in the back end, which is typical Tennessee Walker. Does that nice head shake. And smooth as glass. This guy has the papers to go any direction you want to go in showing. He has the temperament and the discipline.
to do anything you would want to do from field trial to just trail riding endurance he's going to do what you ask him to do he's just almost push button neck reins like a champ backs easily works off the leg and the rein and we're going to take him to the pavement and let you hear that let you hear all the beats all right here comes hipster walking down the driveway All by himself, nobody to follow, and he's three going on four. I always think that's impressive. Yes, he goes slow because he's taking it in and he's learning. I like it when we got something between those two ears besides just pretty. All right, we're going to get him gating on the way back up. And this is what we all pay for when we buy a gated horse. Very, very nice. We're going to take him down to the creek. Here we are. As I am coming up on the three going on four-year-old colt on the cart. And he's going back towards the barn. And you can see how calm he is. Now, he came out of the stall this morning. Like I said, we didn't ride him for six months and got on him. This is just what you're going to get when you get on him. If he's been standing in the stall, you might have a minute or two of a little more looky-loo. But other than that, this is what you're going to get. All right, here goes Hipster into the first creek. I've got my grand puppy out here today who knows nothing of horse etiquette. He's already been right underneath this horse's feet a couple of times. He likes to stop right in front of you. So he's learning. But his problem is his name's Bentley. He's never met a stranger, and he doesn't think there's anything on earth that doesn't love him. So trying to tell him that things can be scary, you could get hurt, is very difficult to do. I said, unless you just want to ride this colt two-handed, he is definitely a neck-reining one-handed colt. It works off the leg, stops off the leg, but he also does work off the bridle. Very nice. I'm going to let her take off gating, head it towards the second creek, and we will catch up with her. I don't have a driver today, so. we work with what we've got. It is so, so muddy here, y'all. We got snow, we got ice, and then it melted, and then it rained every single day at some point last week. And some days it rained all day, like Saturday, all day. Here goes Hipster into the second creek, and I've told you guys sometimes this thing is really going. It's not a raging river today. It probably was yesterday. But you can actually hear the water running there, a nice little waterfall. Good job. You found all of his footing, even though he couldn't even see all of the rocks. That's wonderful. This creek is all riprap. And those rocks will move out from underneath you. And so this is all about agility. Of course, it's also about crossing running water. Being able to find your footing on those sharp rocks, and especially when you're three going on four and you're awkward anyway. 
He's all leg right now. Say, I'm trying to fill out, but I've just been growing up. <laughs> oh, he says hi. All right, we're going to head on to the barn. All right, here is Hipster loading in the trailer. She was trying the self-loading method. Benny, get out of the trailer. Again, grand puppy. All right, she's gonna back him out for us. What level rider does Hipster need? Well, being three going on four, I'm hesitant to say a complete beginner, but if you know even the basics of riding and you're not absolutely terrified of getting on a horse, this horse will work for you. He does not need a lot of experience. We're glad to show you any buttons he has, which is really not a button, it's just more working off the leg and the, the hands as well. Otherwise, he will just work with the bit. He is one beautiful, beautiful colt, and he's going to shed off gorgeous this spring. So that is Hipster. His price is $5,500, registered Tennessee Walker, and I'll have a picture of his papers on the site.